Hey, I'm Tyler and I'm a senior at Bellevue East. What can I say except you're welcome? And this is a poem from a fibromyalgia flare-up. I don't know what competition this is, but I think I'm winning. Listen, that's not something I'm positive is a good thing, but when I'm up at three in the morning crying into the toilet, I feel the same thing I felt when I won my first place at horseback riding. Confusion and just a little fear. You see, chronic illness at times does feel like a competition in the way that no one really cares until you win, but winning in this case is finally passing out after holding back vomit for hours or managing to find someone who's actually willing to talk about it because sometimes I just want to talk about it. My dad once said, I don't know what to say, so I'm going to say nothing. <laughs> but it's easy to comfort a chronically ill person, I promise. I can't tell you what I wouldn't do to have someone sit with me at three in the morning just telling me it's going to be okay because there's only so many times I can count the cracks on the ceiling, scuff marks on the side of the tub, strands of fur on my cat, how many seconds of my life I've spent in pain, how many ways to tell someone you've been hunched over the toilet crying since you were eight years old. The real trick is how to tell that to your doctor. You go for one issue and you ask if you have any other problems. Let me pull up the list. He always seems surprised, like, honey, you're 17, and I don't know how to tell him I bond with my grandmother by showing off how many pills we each have to take a night and how many we can take at once. I took five pills at once a couple nights ago, and that is the most powerful I have ever felt. <laughs> I get pretty much the same couple comments every time I mention my illness, and most of the time it revolves around me trying yoga. But my favorite comment is, sweetie, if your head hurts so bad, why are you on your phone? Well, you see, Janice, I've had a frog-themed bathroom for as long as I've been ill, and I've had time to name every single frog on the curtains, rug, painting. I even have a little toothbrush holder that's a frog holding a lily, and you put your toothbrushes through the petals. In case you were wondering, his name is Royce, and he's my one true ally at this point and a very good metaphor for chronic illness because I use a mug to hold my toothbrushes. His lily broke off a long time ago, and of course I tried to fix my little man, but there's only so much I can do with tape and hope. He still sits hidden under my sink with his poorly taped on Lily, and I think about him every time I find myself on the bathroom floor, only able to move to lean forward so I don't vomit on myself. Royce is a real one. He knows what it's like to be hidden out of view, but everyone still knows you're there, but they don't know how to fix you, so they push you farther back and ignore the dust in their old patchwork job. Back to what I said about this being a competition. I think I'm winning, but... Unlike most other people's trophies, mine will never go on the mantle. Mine belongs where no one can see it because my parents never wanted me to even sign up for this sport. <laughs> to be honest, neither did I. But hey, my brother had the same attitude with tennis, so I gotta be doing something right. Woo!